Hello, my name's Manjot Singh. I'm Lead Enterprise Architect at MariaDB. As Lead Enterprise Architect, I work with a lot of our most important customers. Uh, these customers tend to ask me, well, what's coming up in MariaDB? So today I'd like to talk to you about MariaDB Community Server 10.5 uh, and some of the new features uh, that came with it. So uh, one of the first things I'd like to talk about is renaming the old commands. So previously MariaDB Server uh, used to use commands like MySQL, MySQL Admin, MySQL Dump. Uh, these commands have now been renamed to MariaDB admin, for example, MariaDB dump. To get into the command line, you would just type MariaDB. Uh, and we started that with 10.4 last year. Uh, now we've, we've made it so that you still have the MySQL commands available as symlinks, um, but the commands themselves are all running as, as the MariaDB ones themselves. Uh, so I'd encourage you now over time to start to, to move any automation you have uh, over to, to the MariaDB names uh, as we're, we're deprecating the, the old command names. Um, we've also in 10.5 added uh, column store 1.5 as a native storage engine, uh, very similar to uh, you know our other storage engines such as InnoDB, Aria, Spider, MyRox. Uh, now we have column store built in. You're not having to install other plugins and packages, uh, and you can use it right out of the box. Uh, we've also uh, refactored InnoDB, so now MariaDB's InnoDB is, is rewritten by our amazing engineering team. Um, we've done some interesting things, uh, such as removing buffer pool in, uh, instances. Uh, we've changed the redo log files to now be uh, a single circular log instead of a few logs or log files in group, as it was done before. Um, it also... Uh, has uh, some some features such as improved validation of logical records. Um, you know, it knows uh, you know how many freed pages are, are are being dropped or deleted. You know, these these types of, of things. Uh, also, the uh, we've added a thread pool uh, for most InnoDB background uh, tasks. So now you're not having multiple mutexes uh, being tripped, causing performance issues uh, such as purge threads and, and other uh, internal uh, threads. Um, we've also added the ability to uh, buffer changes. Uh, uh, they're merged on demand so that we don't have those IO spikes uh, and random crashes that could be caused uh, by asynchronous uh, buffer merges or uh, you know different uh, background tasks. I, I'd encourage you if you're interested to check out Marco's video in OpenWorks 2020 uh, or read our blog posts on the subject and, and see how InnoDB has changed. I tell my customers it's a brand new engine really. Um, we've added a few different security changes as well. There's a new variable, require secure transport. Basically, the server will only run with uh, TLS um, uh, or you know, SSL uh, enabled. Um, uh, so that means that you can't connect insecurely anymore uh, if you do enable that. Uh, we've broken out the super privileges. Uh, you know, we've had some people request, well, you know, I may want to uh, replicate or have uh, bin log or other types of uh, privileges, and I don't want to give super. So we've added some of those uh, new privileges as well to MariaDB. Uh, there's a few new enhancements to the SQL spec, uh, you know, insert returning, uh, alter table, rename index, uh, rename column. Uh, so that's great. Uh, we've also added some uh, protocol support such as uh, new data type API and, and quite a few other changes. I'd encourage you to check them out uh, and try out MariaDB uh, Server 10.5. Uh, Enterprise Server is going to have some new cool things built on top of that. Uh, and this is all part of MariaDB's platform X5. Uh, thank you for your time. <laughs>